Raise Chaos. And welcome back, everybody. My name is Raise Chaos. You made it back to my channel, and we've got a very special edition because every edition is special. Yeah. So I'm going to show you what this guy is because you guys probably already know what it is because you read the title and all that fun stuff. And, um,. that knife appropriate but I'm gonna do a great big reveal and what do we have here we have mm -hmm. right. We're we good what the hell was that okay Okay, so we've got Devo. We've got, whew, we have got uh, two, the, the two Devo Pops uh, celebrating their biggest hits um, this way and that way to be, to go, you know, left to right, like they're more popular. Um, I'm not really sure how that happened. But yes, this is it. Um, I am not 100% positive if, uh, since they all kind of dress the same, I don't know if this is actually supposed to be uh, Mark Mothersbaugh. Uh, I don't know if they're supposed to be that or if it's supposed to be a mixture of them. Um, but this is, this is them. I know this one is. I know this one's got to be him. Because uh, he is actually the one that will, will, no, wielded the whip in the music video. And so we're going to take a look at this guy right now. Whip it good! D did it again. That's, that's weird. Okay, so yeah, this is him wearing the uh, classic whip it outfit. The boots, the, the shorts, the... <laughs> the, the the shirt <laughs> with the whip um thankfully the whip is not actually attached to his leg which um is one of my biggest complaints because you know there's a cat woman out there that uh i have but will never take out again because uh they linked it and that's just way too easy to break um but here he is wearing the classic uh helmet um to dispel for those that don't pay attention to this um, a lot of people like to say that that entire video, they were wearing flower pots on their head. Um, that is not the case. Um, they are actually light fixture covers and they had modified to put hard hat, uh, lining underneath that. So it would actually fit their heads. Um, and yeah, that was... It's something that I guess they still get uh, questioned about to this day, even though at no point in any of their interviews do they say anything different than that's exactly what it is. It's a, you know, a helmet, little lining in the from a hard hat inside this light fixture thing. They are light fixtures. Um, if you can't imagine light fixtures like that, I can because, quite frankly... I work with things that would actually utilize uh, fixtures like that, so it makes total sense. Um, but yeah, it's all in the aesthetic. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the other one now. Hmm, nothing that time. But yes, this is their look from the music video uh, that they made. Uh, on Satisfaction, the cover of the Rolling Stones Satisfaction, which they did their very own version of that um, and kind of made it theirs. Um, I love the fact that the detail on this actually shows the uh, where they fastened the straps of the helmet. Um, that is one of those extra uh, 
one of those extra details that Funko does that I really appreciate. Um, but yeah, right there on there, Devo. Uh, if you don't know what uh, Devo actually means, it's a de-evolution. Um, it's the uh, exact opposite of evolution, which is come is what they sang about, what they kind of promoted. Um, and they were a perfect example of this, um, about how things tend to evolve to a certain point and then regress. Um, and honestly, they became the perfect, uh, uh example of that, uh, as far as, or they were involved with the perfect example of that. Um, this is, these are, uh, Devo is one of the first bands that uh, just kind of jumped on the pioneer that was MTV when it came out. Uh, it was brand spanking new. One of the big problems MTV had was that nobody was making music videos at that time. I mean, very few and far between. But Devo felt that uh, their music needed to be seen because they were more visual than musical. They were They were really trying to show... Uh, just to show you something. They were really kind of showing you the Devo moment. So uh, they basically had videos for everything. Everything was meant to be visual. So uh, basically they got asked by MTV. MTV got a hold of them and said, hey, you know, look, you're the only one that's got videos. Um, we, we won't pay you, but we will air your videos like a lot because you're the only one that has them. So, uh, yeah, at the beginning, uh, you get like four or five different Devo videos on MTV every day. And, uh, then once, once it evolved and, uh, more bands were into the whole making a music video for their singles and putting them out there and getting them out there and, uh, slowly but surely Devo, they started showing less and less of them. To the point of, yeah, it was almost impossible to see a Devo video on MTV. And now it's almost impossible to see a music video on DVD uh, or on MTV. So yeah, the de-evolution <laughs> of that. Perfect example. They were at the forefront of it. But yes, these are some really great pops. If you are a Devo fan, you you are definitely going to watch the want these. And uh Yes. I love these things. These are so cool. But I'm going to give you a good uh, close-up and a side-by-side -side of these two. And I'm going to go ahead and, yes, this has turned into a double or nothing weekend. So, uh, yeah, I don't know how that happened. I think he does. I think he knows. But I'm going to let you go now. And uh, I hope you have a great day. And never forget that life is full of odd moments and you never know when you're going to be defined.